Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I'm going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we are looking at UniLeague and um, they do have a pre-sale um, that actually they had. It was canceled and then they uh, scheduled another one. So we're going to take a look at that first. Okay. So we can see here, um, actually not canceled, you know, but ultimately it was canceled. But either way, we can see sale ended here. Okay. Uh, you know, so we can see it's a pre-sale, right? Okay. We've got a couple of badges here. Um, we can see that they had a hard cap of 500 BNB. Um, they were able to raise just over nine, you know, beans on this one, 15 contributors, max buy of, you know, five BNB. You guys already know that I am not a fan of five beans at a max contribution, you know, to a pre-sale. All right, but either way, that's what they did. It was public. Okay, they got a video here, but you guys know we don't play videos as we explore projects on the channel. And um, I can just go ahead and read you the description here. Uh, it's a watching based play to earn football game, coaching game, or football coaching game, sorry, that aims to be the best fantasy football app. UniLeague uh, brings football fanatics together from all over the world in the UniLeague app and offers them the opportunity to play securely with the blockchain tech without losing their competitive spirit. All right, so as far as the audit is concerned, you know, on this one, they did pass with issues, high severity issue, the owner can set max transaction amount, medium severity issue, reflection fee system built uh, in contract and not used. And again, this is verbiage coming straight from the audit. Medium severity issue, no way to exclude, you know, from max tax or transaction amount. Medium severity issue using safe math in their compiler version. Okay, and uh, I'll, you know, even though I'll leave you the link, you know, in the description, you know, for the audit, all you got to do is just go ahead and click on the badge here. It'll take you straight to it. And then we can see that they're also KYC. So that's going to be um, their certificate of KYC, you know, obviously clicking through, you know, on this badge right here. Okay, so moving forward, we can see they had a soft cap of 250 beans and the hard cap of 500. Liquidity lockup time, we're looking at 365, okay, and then they've got the token metrics here, so not really concerned there, okay, and then we're going to, so again, this is the one they did, was not successful, so moving over to the one that is um, currently uh, going on right now, so they say that this one's going to end in 17 hours. The sales live, you know, so you can see that right here. And uh, again, they've got their audit and KYC badges. Um, basically, the same description. They add a little bit more here, so we got some some stuff checked off. Centralized exchange listing, collaborating with football clubs, sponsorship of sport events, uh, Dex tools and Avax trendings, streams on Twitch, okay, community events and tournaments, outdoor ads like the Times Square, okay. We got 36 contributors on this one. What I'm not, I'm really not a fan. You typically don't see this, but they actually increased. You know, their max contribution, you know, on this one. So just be aware of that. Hold on, let me pause the video quick. All right, guys, so sorry about that. But moving forward. All right, so we can see here we've got an initial market cap of 32,515. That's going to be estimated. So always be aware that it can change. You know, so since this is a fair launch, you know, um, they have already gone ahead and surpassed, you know, their soft cap, you know, by like 0 0.057 here, as indicated right here. Oops, right like that. Oh, my goodness, my. My highlight's not working. Okay, so you can see that they're already over the 50. Um, you know, so if they go significantly over it, I mean, this will continue to adjust, you know, um, as they continue to go over that uh, that soft cap. So just be aware of that. All right. Uh, and then, again, we can see here the in, they indicate the soft caps, 50 beans, liquidity lockup time, all right. And then we've got the token metrics, so nothing concerning there. So, all right, moving forward, all right, we're going to take a look at the, uh, the documentation here. So I've already got it you know, here on the roadmap, so we can see what we've got going on in terms of the phases in the roadmap. So we can see in phase one, we see project planning, website release, publishing of the white paper, releasing the socials, you know, for their community um, or to, you know, associate with the project. Community creation, uh, community creating, um, I don't know, I'd say creation, but that's just my own personal opinion. Pink sale audits, okay, and you don't get audited by pink sale, so I don't know why they are indicating audit by pink sale. So, um, so maybe, you know, or KYC, you know, but the audit by Pink Seal, um, I would definitely, if they come across this, I would definitely change this because Pink Seal doesn't do audits, okay? So moving forward, uh, phase two, 
Demo launch of the Uni League D app, airdrop campaign, influencer marketing and commercials, pre sale. There we go. So, this is correct. But what they got going on here, I don't even know what this is. So, okay, moving forward, we see pancake swap listings, strategic and technologic uh, collaborations, listings on CMC and CoinGecko. And again, if you're not pre listed, doesn't make any sense to go ahead and state that you're listing there. So, if you're not pre-listed, then ultimately you want to state that you're, you're submitting your application you know, for these two uh, platforms. All right. Phase three, we see staking, big marketing campaigns. So they've mentioned marketing, you know, um, before on this already. And so once you mention marketing one time, you don't have to mention it again. You guys have heard me talk about that on other projects. Outdoor advertisements, uh, partnerships with football clubs, launch a uni league DMV1. Okay, uh, let's see here. And they did. Okay, so they're doing a demo launch, you know, here of the D app, and then they're going, I guess, a full launch, you know, of the uh, of the D app here. Okay, integrating other sports clubs into the app, and then in phase four, we see collaboration with football players, adding new UI or new UI and improvements, integration of new leagues and football clubs, enlarging a platform. Platform is not spelled correctly. This is the kind of stuff, you know, you guys, if you've seen some of my other videos, especially as we were closing out last month, talked about, you know, this uh, private consultation assessment, you know, um, service that we're rolling out. And, um, you know, again, what the service is, it focuses, you know, on specifics, you know, details, things that, you know, um, you'd want to pay attention to before, you know, um, letting the whole world see your project and so kind of stuff like this are things that we would go ahead and highlight you know in that service you know so because uh, again it's a detail oriented service so moving forward improving more flexible features for users centralized exchange listings are right, what tier you know who you're going after you know with this in phase four public competition you know events so and then we can see here on the token they give us some information here we see the ticker you know right here well, the symbol is going to be UL, but their logos, they indicate that right here, going to be BSC, BEP20 token, total supply, low tax token, three and three in and out. And then on the tokenomics, this will cover the distribution, you know, so we can see uh, what's going to what, 2% to private, 5% uh, to public sale, 3% to liquidity, 10% to the team, 5% to advisors, 20% to treasury, 25% to game and staking rewards. Uh, we got 10% going to marketing and 20% to clubs and content acquisition, you know, so... We can also see the total supply, you know, here as well. All right, so that'll take us through the distribution, you know, the token. We're going to head back on over to the main page. So um, let's see here. So this is, you know, just something they've got going on in the background, you know, as far as their header, topmost part of the page, you know. So, all right, we also see tokenomics and white paper links, you know, up here. And then uh, we can see Builder, you know, they got a scrolling marquee, you know, going up here. I'm not going to keep up with it, you know, but either way, you can see that you can touch on each of these that goes back through each one, okay. Uh, and then we can see you can build your team, collect points, you know, with your players and your squad with the UL tokens every week, okay. And one UL is going to equal one, you know, uh, whatever the signal is in your in your budget. Okay, save and play. Live tracking. Follow all your fixtures, all the fixtures players on at your team, and news of the fantasy football world instantly in the Uni League. All right, so then we get to this information over here that kind of gives us a representation of what that looks like. Okay, so we can see here, you know, just going back through the roadmap, you know, so main thing, you know, looking at the roadmap and just finishing out like feedback here is that we don't see anything saying, you know, what they've already completed, you know, audit, uh, completed um, in process pending ongoing, any of that stuff. And we don't get we don't get timelines, you know, we get phases, you know, and so um, if we go back over to, you know, this um, documentation here, again, Phase one, phase two, phase three, phase two. A lot of projects go ahead and do that, but they don't give you any more information as to like when they're going to do the stuff they say they're going to do. And that's just helpful information to have, right? You know, so uh, I do believe, you know, certainly on this channel, having covered, you know, over a thousand, you know, uh, projects that we've taken a look at, you know, over the last, you know, nine months. At the end of the day, I mean, not a lot of projects do this. And it's a simple, you know, foundational thing that I personally believe that projects, you know, should do. Just indicate, you know, hey, what, what's the timeline? You know, what are the months that constitute each of the phases, you know? Or if you're going to go ahead and you don't want to put that kind of work into it, just indicate, you know, hey, this is our 2022 um, roadmap. This is our 2023 roadmap, that kind of stuff. You know, so um, and then when we go to phase four, 
it'd be good to know if this is the end of your development on your project, you know, and are we still going to be in 2022 here? Are you going to do a V2, you know, on the roadmap, that kind of stuff. So moving forward, we see that the team's not photodocs, you know, but again, when you look at their pre-sale page, uh, they do have their KYC completed. Okay. So, and uh, we see partners, you know, what it is. We get, you know, an FAQ of sorts and uh, we get some socials here at the footer of the page. And that's pretty much it, you know, in regards to the project. So nothing else to add. Add, other than to let you know that you know look if we as we continue to go ahead and you know do more you know on the on the channel you know and let's say that you're looking for some additional information and help you know um, you know we are going to continue to roll out you know services to be able to help you guys you know uh, that may include you know consultations you know one to one you know as well uh, if you are all interested in that so um, but nothing else to add on this project other than to tell you if you're not yet subscribed you know these are time spent sensitive videos you know so if you're not subscribed and in the you know and making sure that that you got notifications turned on you're not going to know about the projects when they are uploaded to the channel so please uh, make sure that you get subscribed um, you know you got other channels to go ahead and say you know smash that like button you know or the subscribe button but I'm just going to go ahead and let you know make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can get subscribed and make sure you're keeping up with the latest content that's released on the channel so that's going to do it for me you all enjoy the day